Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, as you can see, I'm talking about Laravel emails. I hope you are really following my Laravel course where I'm talked about a lot of things about Laravel. If you didn't check it out, obviously check my previous videos where I talked a lot of amazing stuff about Laravel. And as you know, the all the Laravel uh, tutorials that I make for you is covering the basic and the little bit of intermediate section where most of the people get stuck and very important to understand. So in this video, I'm talking about the Laravel email uh, facade. As you can see, we are going to use the email facade or mail facade for Laravel, which really helps us to send email to particular user. So first step we need to follow is Laravel environment file and you need to set up some configuration. Then we're gonna create PHP artisan config clear. We need to clear all of our config because when you write something in the environment, you need to clear the config. Third step is to make our controller and which is we're gonna call mail controller and we're gonna add some features to send mail, okay? We're gonna learn three types of mail, which is text mail, email mail, and email attachment mail, three types of mails and routes and all other controllers, we're gonna add all those functionalities that we created. So these are the main five steps that we need to follow to send email. But before that, we need to make sure that disable two-step authentication on your Google account security services. So as you can see in the video, you can easily turn on and turn off your two-step authentication in Google account for this purpose, if you want to test it live and send all of those things. I'm gonna show you in the video that how you can see that and just get confirmed that how it is working. And I'm gonna show you with using the real Google account as you can see. And you need to also allow less secure apps on your Google account. So, so that we can send email directly to your Google account or Gmail account. So first we need to create our application, go to our terminal. And here I'm gonna write Laravel new email sender project. So our new project name is email sender project okay so it will take some time to create and by this time just chill so as you can see our laravel application is created now we need to get out of this thing so we have email sender project okay studio code email sender project and just go to the new terminal so our development server is running if we go into this link as you can see our development server is running properly environment folder this is the very important thing and this is the part um where you're gonna learn all of those things and put all of your credentials for the environment variables so this is the place where you put all of this information like database connection database name all of those things and here the most important part when i zoom in you can see it very clearly we have some information mail mailer mail mailer is actually here as mtp okay so this is the service we're going to use and our host is smtp.gmail.com Okay, so smtp.gmail.com, this is our host that will send mail from one user to another user. Okay, and our port is 587. 587, you can Google it and learn what is the port number for SMTP services to send mail. Okay, especially this is work for the Google account Gmail, as you can see, and its port is 587. And this is the mail username. Mail username is suppose my name is great adib or adib, you can see adib at gmail.com so this is actually a mail the full username but we need only the thing that is before this at sign so you need to delete everything so this is just a normal mail username okay then we need to have a password so this is a very dangerous thing and this is a very important that you don't write it on the especially in the video tutorial that i'm making this you cannot write password like this way okay so this is a very secret thing and this is the same password that you're going to use for your google account password and this is the same password that you're going to put here okay suppose it is one two three four then it is one two three four if it is something else it is something else just put it and the mail encryption point is TLS. Normally, this is the standard TLS encryption for the mail. This is very important. So these are some environmental uh, configuration that you need to set up. First is the mail driver, which is SMTP. Then we have the host, which is smtp.gmail.com. And its port is 587. And your Gmail username and its own secret password it's address suppose a mail from address when you you need to send some email from one user to another user suppose this is the user who sent the mail and some and you need to write some other mail who will be getting that email so this is the mail who is going to send the mail 
and this is just a simple example suppose in case of mine it should be like this at, at example.com in case of yours it is suppose xyz example.com because this is a demo project and you guys all know how to put all of your email here you are a complete developer okay so you, this is the password that you're gonna put suppose i just keep it one two three four here for the development or the demo purpose so this is the environmental setup very important and then you need to get out of your shell okay and you just need to write php artisan config clear this is important config you need to clear the configuration because you just changes the some important variables in the environment variables okay so this is very very important the second step as you can see we have laravel environment file main configuration setup is done then our cache clearing is done and then to create a controller let me create a controller for you so php artisan make me a controller and its name is mail controller so our controller is created if you go to app we're going to http go to controllers we have main controllers um here i'm going to put something called use mail okay so use illuminate support facet mail so this is the facet we're going to use to send our mail so first one is the very basic email very basic email so for that i'm going to write some functionalities public function send basic email okay so this is the functionality name and here you need to write um and in the body we're gonna add some data suppose and this should be in array format you can put in many format but i like the array format more so suppose the name and the name is Gaji adib and this is the name that i'm gonna send to suppose i am great adib and i'm sending this mail to Gaji Adi, okay so this is very important and this will hold all the information like this name in associative array in the data variable send some mail so mail and here i'm to use send functionality as it will take three parameters first one is view then data and conduct functions and here i'm going to use text as mail and to send this email as text format okay so there are three format one is html format one is text format and this is the text format and it will be mail okay and then we need to put some data variable which one or which variable or which user i need to pass this mail to and this is the name and this holds all in the data variable okay so the name of the person that whom i'm sending this email to and this is holding inside the variable data and this is the thing that need to pass in the parameter in the mail dot send method okay then we have view is done which is text as email and then we have the data i already passed it and then to callback function and in the callback function you need to use a function and function here i'm going to use message so in the message everything is done here first message and message we need to send to whom i'm going to sending this message suppose i'm going to send this message to pqr at gmail.com don't use it in your main project because this is just a simple uh, demo to show you use your own personal gmail account and use your gmail and you can put another information to gaji adi because this is the person you are sending to okay you can attach this and you can attach one more functionality which is subject because each email uh, should have a subject which looks very professional and this is laravel um, youtube tutorial on email so but this is the subject laravel youtube tutorial on email then what you can write message and here you can write from because from is important who is sending the email and two is to whom you are sending the email okay and the subject should be like xyz is sending the email at gmail.com make sure it is gmail because you need to use smtp.gmail.com is your main host so you need to use gmail account on that or google account and you can also put your name here who is sending the mail suppose great as we sending the mail okay and this is the person who is sending the mail and two is to whom you are sending the mail okay very important 
and uh, we're gonna show the simple message as, as it is like that so after I did all of this you need to echo something uh, email is sent or email is sent perfect we can add one more function uh, for that I'm gonna copy everything and this function is for attachment attachment okay you can use some more attachment and send attach email okay suppose this function this name is send attach email if you want to send any uh, image or text file to it okay so same everything everything is same just here or email attachment this subject should be email attachment okay you are sending to this person from this person and also you can add one more parameter here which is attach you can attach something and how can we attach something suppose for that you need to have some uh, data okay you need to have some data in your um, public folder you need to create one more folder called uploads and in the uploads folder you can put two, uh, two images suppose we have uh, images here as you can see this is the images into drag and drop here as you can see and then we have valentine okay so the valentine day and iphone 13 pro png all of them are png make sure the, you write it perfectly and you need to go to its directory and how can you go to its directory so for that you need to go to your main project laravel workspace we have our email center project to public uploads okay so this is the root directory web development framework then you need to go laravel laravel workspace then your project and public uploads folder just copy this directory because in this directory we have these images so this directory is very important and here you need to pass all of those things as you can see in the uploads folder we have two images which is iphone 13 pro and valentine so first one is your uh, valentine underscore day dot png simple and you just need to copy this and send one more file which is iphone 13 pro dot png so just write it perfectly otherwise it will never gonna work iphone 13 pro dot png and valentine underscore uh, day dot png so this is the thing that you need to attach on to, to images you can attach some files as text format for that you need to write something like txt or pdf or pdf okay so as it is an image i just write it png that works really well and then you need to write from which i'm sending then we have one more format and which is almost like this one let me copy this thing and paste it here this is just a basic html email it will show only the html property like h1 and p tag after you send the email okay so basic uh, html email suppose send html email this is the function name and you need to just change here so this is the part i need to change here here you need to write as mail send the mail as mail and it will uh, just show all the html format okay and if you write as text mail then it will show all the text and html tags all of those things okay in the mail but if you do, uh, just write it like mail like this it will be very plain and easy for you to understand so you can check it out it, we have three format which is html email then we have attachment uh, that we can attach something images pdfs on different kind of files and other things are very similar to whom we are sending and from who we, from which people we're gonna sending and to whom we are sending very simple all of the things are pretty similar then we can also change it to for the attachment we need to change it to mail very simple we can change it to mail this is for the simple um mail format which is directly converted into html and then we have attach format we attach something and then we have simple mail as text so we need to go to our routes folder and in the routes folder web.php and we're just gonna delete everything just keep it simple route and get okay and here to write some 
function it is and we need to use mail controller okay http controller main controller that we created and you need to use this function it is called basic into basic email just copy this thing and in the mail controller mail controller the class you can use this functionalities okay very simple and you can copy this thing and paste it and this is for the basic html email and this is for send html email if you want to send it in html format and then we have attachment attach mail format and here you're going to use this functionality send attach email just keep it similar send attach email send attach email and then we have the html and this is for the send basic send basic and then we have send html email send html email. so we have three format okay web server so for that we just php artisan optimize to optimize everything like it will clear our cache all of those things properly and route cache all of these things properly so after we just gonna run php artisan serve to run our server so one more thing we forgot which is very important and for that you need to go to resources resources and views you need to create one more file called mail.blade.php and here you need to write something and html page email sender and here you can put something called hi it will hold something called our name okay hi how are you okay and here you write p tag i send an email to you okay so this is the person where you just send them email to so if we go to the mail controller and here as you can see in the data variable i stored a name called gajia this is the person i'm sending this mail to so this is the name array attribute and this is the attribute that we can set here so when the email is sent you can see this blade mail dot blade dot php page very simple and this is the name that hold like gajiati okay that this name hold it so it will say hi how are you i sent an email to you okay very simple and then when you start and run the server now as you can see every single thing worked really fine without any single hiccups or any single issues and I think you guys really understand how this is working really fine. As you can see, we have all the images and how we have all the normal HTML tags and HTML thing that we that shows. Hi, how are you? I'm sending an email to you. And so I think from now on, you guys really are really smart enough to understand how you can send some mail to your uh, clients, to your personal users, to all of those things very easily, very simply. Even you can send the authenticated user mail. So I think the most of the thing I showed here in it really works really well if you follow and the disable two step on Google account and allow less secure apps. So these are all the simple and basic stuff that you need to do to send email to any customer or the client. So I hope you learned a lot of things about Laravel email center and email facet or mail facet and how you can add subject, how you can add email, how you can add attachment to your image PDF file, image file or any text file very easily, very simply. So that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot of things and subscribe and share as much as possible so that I can give you much better content in the near future. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about networking, which is really awesome videos. And I hope you will understand a lot of amazing stuff from that video. So thanks for watching. I'll be coming with the next video with more awesome content. Till then, take care, bye-bye.